We're over the tsunami. We are starting to rise the tsunami. Oh, it's completely flooded today. I'm going to be going on a Stormworks vacation using this high-speed boat. Let's get started. Dude, this thing is a beauty, but we need to bring this thing to the actual dock so we can bring this thing in the water. And we're actually going to be driving it today, and maybe some tsunamis might spawn in. I hope not. But I, for some reason, have a feeling that this truck is not really um, built for carrying boat trailers like this, if I'm going to be honest. I just don't know why. Our suspension is, like, completely slammed in the back. Yeah, this is definitely not made for this type of boat, but where is this actual dock and area at over here okay i don't even see any what the heck that's the that's like the port over there we can't even like load the boat off um okay uh i'm actually not seeing any type of docking area we might just have to literally send it off the pier um i don't know if i'm gonna do that i'm probably gonna lower it near these rocks over here hopefully i don't like flip the truck um that is definitely a possibility here but i honestly just can't wait to completely floor this boat and see what its actual top speed is because this is a pretty fast boat. i'm not even turning right now what is going on oh we're gonna jackknife okay watch out here dude that is a big drop i don't think i can actually go down that so i think i chose one of the worst um actual islands to spawn at but we're gonna be flooring it right now and we're gonna launch it completely off the side of this runway straight into the water i hope at least i hope it's not like rocks right when the runway ends and we're gonna fall on that but i'm flooring it right now if you can't tell um we're losing control also what okay i don't know how this is gonna work yeah that's not really working too well we might just have to drive off the pier okay that's gonna work all right here we go we're gonna completely floor it off the side of this pier with this boat on the back hopefully um it flows because there's a whole lot of weight actually probably going to try bringing it down here including my truck so this is going to be quite interesting i'm hammering it right now oh gosh okay i hope the boat floats up and everything else sinks but we're going to see here here we go we're flooring it off the pier with my brand new boat oh this is not good oh oh my gosh that's not good okay um wait that's that's not okay it's floating but um my truck's still connected to it oh we need to get out of this thing okay i'm trying to get out of my truck okay i got out of my truck um oh that is not good at all okay how do we disconnect this my truck is sinking okay um release trailer connector okay we clicked that oh that that was my truck okay what's the other button over here there should be like a disconnect boat button um release vessel connectors there we go okay i clicked that um oh there we go the trailer completely dropped trailer has rammed the bottom of the ocean and it is going to run into probably some ocean life but now we have this really nice expensive looking boat here and we're gonna be driving this let's go all right so how do we start this thing we have some mood lights here okay we'll turn those on oh dude this boat is so cool okay he has some mood lights on this thing so i can tell the main color here is green Green. that is awesome okay and then how do we start this so ignition is on um we want to turn on displays here so we're going to turn on all that oh there we go so now we have an actual radar this boat honestly has it all like it has an anchor on this thing has like four outboards that's insane for a boat we're starting to move on idle actually already okay i'm gonna throttle up using wns i'm not gonna floor it yet all right we're starting to move what's this monitor right here um autopilot console power okay so that's cool and then running lights we're gonna turn on all of our lights there we go and then i think we're gonna turn on all this too turn on on collision avoidance so we do not actually crash into anything then we have a foghorn of course and that's basically this boat here oh we're picking up some speed are we full throttle hold on i'm gonna hammer it i'm gonna hammer it here are we full throttle i think we're full throttle okay we need to turn this pitch um down i think yep there we go so now this thing's not jumping out of the water as much perfect now we have set sail this is looking really nice some cool vibes out here this is honestly the most interesting like refueling tank i've ever seen it's below the seat i don't know i've never seen that before but that is pretty cool but as you can see our fuel is draining right now because these engines are definitely taking up all of our gas currently but we have two beds outside of the boat here so we're gonna run for a bit of a tour so two beds and then we have a whole bunch of seating the control area right here and then this is the front with some more seating with a cool um table area and then this is the front of the boat here with um, rope anchors all over the place so we can tie this thing down at any docks if we need to. But then this boat actually has an interior to it. So it has an inside cabin. It looks so nice in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we have a thermostat. Of course, dude, this is the nicest boat ever. Okay. We're going to turn our thermostat on here. Um, It doesn't work. Why is it not working? Oh, okay. It's working now. Okay. We're going to turn it to 20 eight okay um there we go water and cabin zero okay we'll keep it like that then we have a utility closet in here oh we can actually um can we climb in here i don't think we can but we have the backup battery and the main battery right there with some repair equipment just in case we might need that here but that's basically the inside of this thing not a whole lot it is a pretty small boat but it is pretty awesome i wonder what's like below this main area right here hold on we're gonna go do some cheating here and look at our no clip mode what is below here okay so we have our um what the heck is that is that an engine um so we have our engine there's actually water in there oh wait no that's our fuel tank right there so we have our fuel tank and then there's an actual engine right here so this is a large engine sideways i don't know that's interesting can 
connected to a whole bunch of generators and stuff so that's how this thing runs basically then we have a cctv camera of our engines just in case and um this is our knots right here so if we actually do this if we put the trim up it'll actually increase our speed because it'll pitch us out of the water more i guess that's how it works it is how it works in real life so we can go 56 57 knots on full speed then if we throttle down here or put the trim down we will lower drastically so basically a 27 ish difference on knot speed if we do that so we are full speed right now we are setting it but the waves are a little bit patchy today but they're not bad at all oh my gosh this thing has bow thrusters on it i do see some bow thrusters that's insane okay, everything's looking clear here what in the world is that going towards my boat okay what do we do here do we try escaping it you know we're gonna try escaping it go 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. We are on ultimate overdrive. We're still on overdrive. Okay. Will we be able to outrun the tsunami? Um, I don't actually know how fast the tsunami goes in this game, but we're going to try outrunning it. Um, it actually looks like it's working, but we don't have enough gas for this to continue forever. So you know what? We just have to hit it guys. We just have to hit the tsunami head on. Here we go. Oh, this is rough. Okay. Put the trim down, put the trim down. There we go. All right. So this is interesting. Okay. Completely cut the motors here. We're going to try floating over it. Um, this is interesting. My brand new speedboat versus a tsunami. We need to close that door. Oh God. Okay, we are about to go over. We're over the tsunami. We are starting to rise the tsunami. Oh, it's completely flooded. Oh, no, my boat's flooding. Oh, no, it's completely flooded. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, my boat. Oh, no, what's going on? My boat is flying away from me. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no. Oh, no, I completely landed in the water. That is not good. Okay, we're no clipping back on. Okay, well, I would say it did a pretty good job at surviving the tsunami. I've definitely seen better. This thing went completely underwater, but it does make sense. It is a pretty small boat, but we did survive. But I kind of want to test if this thing can actually like capsize and flip back over if it does capsize. Can we capsize it just by turning? Dude, look at this thing turning that is insane what in the world okay that is awesome but what we're going to be doing now is spawning a whirlpool in and we're actually going to test if this thing can flip back over if it capsizes it is a speedboat so i'm not really expecting it to but you never know honestly whirlpool is being spawned somewhere i think i have a great idea of where it's at oh gosh okay we're going to completely drive this thing in it i think we're pretty deep here how deep is the ocean below us it doesn't actually tell us okay i wish we had some type of sonar i bet we do i just don't know where it's at dude look at that whirlpool that is insane and we're going to be driving straight into it like we are right now. Oh, this is not good. Okay, will we capsize or stay upright? This thing is actually staying like perfectly level almost here. What in the world? I think I could stand. Never mind. Okay, we're getting in a seat. Get in a seat. Oh my gosh. Okay, bad idea. Um, Is this thing going to capsize or I don't know. Our engine's completely stalled there. It actually hasn't capsized yet, but we're completely, it's throttling us to the bottom of the ocean, right? Okay, that's not what we want. Dude, I don't know how deep we are right now, but it completely throttled us down here. I think it's trying to flow back up now. This is like really creepy wait are we floating back up wait what um we've been down here okay that's the whirlpool right there um we are floating up i think dude the clouds are like spinning wait we're actually still in the whirlpool it's still spinning us that's interesting okay now we're starting to oh we're going back down again okay um i don't think this thing can capsize okay well the whirlpool ended we did survive it didn't actually end up capsizing which leads me to believe this thing can actually not capsize but now what we're gonna do is kind of set the mood we're gonna kind of change it to sunset here is this sunset um where's sunset at oh that's um wind direction that's okay okay we're gonna set it to sunset just like that oh my gosh it looks so nice out here guys this looks so incredibly good and we'll put the waves up maybe a little bit um that's a little bit too choppy okay we don't want them to be too choppy and like uncomfortable but a some little waves makes it look pretty cool but yeah this is honestly a pretty good vacation so far it hasn't gone too bad we tested the boat to find out if it can actually capsize it can't which is a actual good sign but so far it has been a pretty nice vacation what should we test on this thing should we test like its waves should we test how good this thing can survive in waves why don't we do that you know we're gonna crank up the waves here we're gonna do um 30 okay this is 30 percent. these waves are already quite big for 30 percent um especially on a boat like this i'd probably not even want to be in the waters we're also probably going to want to get back in the helm here oh gosh okay this is really rough okay throttle down a little bit then we'll be okay there we go so if we throttle down it is perfectly fine let's ramp it up to um 50 here so this is 50 percent wave the waves will get twice as big as this actually on 100 percent um obviously but yeah this is 50 percent 50 percent isn't too bad i mean it's completely going over our deck yeah that's actually pretty bad but can we drive in 50 percent we're gonna full throttle here and see if this thing can drive okay um i'm getting all my bed sheets wet that is actually disgusting oh my gosh imagine going in the bed after like a wave splashes over but we can drive actually i'm not gonna say we can drive comfortably because we are like going underwater on every wave we hit okay we're surfing a big one right there oh we just jumped it here we go oh that was actually quite a nice landing 
So this thing can do pretty good on 50%. Let's ramp it up to 80. Okay, this is 80% waves right here. Oh, those are getting massive. These are getting massive, guys. Oh, we're getting airtime. Oh, gosh. Boats can turn into airplanes in this game if the waves are too big. Like that one right there. That was insane, but um, you can definitely get way higher. Okay, we're going to ramp it up straight to 100. Here we go. This is 100% waves right now. These are some insane waves. We are getting some major airtime here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is going to be some really good airtime. Oh, yeah. This is now an airplane. All right, now we're going to start cranking up the rain. So this is like hurricane type stuff. So we, if we put wind and rain at 100%, that's hurricane. Okay, so rain is at 20%. That's some like light sprinkles. Let's switch it up to uh, 50% here on rain. Oh, there we go. So now the storm clouds will start rolling in. It starts getting really dark out here. That is pretty creepy. I feel like the waves also get bigger if you turn on rain also. I don't know why. I just have that feeling. Uh, we need to throttle down here. Throttle down, please. Now we're going to ramp it up to 80% rain. All right, 80%. Oh, it's really getting rough. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I think we just capsize oh we capsize will it flip back over oh i think it flipped back over flawlessly okay that was actually a really nice although that looks like the moon over there um kind of it really doesn't but that is the sun okay so don't get that mistaken we are on 80 percent rain let's ramp it up to 100 okay here we go we are on full-on hurricane mode right now this thing is flipping left and right it is so dark out here this is what the sunset was let's switch it straight to nighttime okay this is pitch nighttime oh my gosh it is so hard to see this is creepy then while we're at it we're gonna start ramping up the fog here okay so this is when stuff really gets creepy okay 20 percent um i can't really notice anything it's just too dark 50 percent um 50 percent i can definitely notice if you look at the lights you can really see it reflecting off the fog right now it is so dark out here this would be insane to do a sinking ship with all of these on max um let me know if we should do that the waves are a little bit patchy out here i'm not gonna lie we were just going for a fishing trip then a hurricane came through and now we're 50 feet in the air on a wave okay yeah definitely not supposed to happen but we're gonna crank it up even more now so it's at 50 we're doing it 80 80 percent fog here we go oh yeah it's definitely getting much harder to see first person um yeah it's really bright oh gosh okay fog makes like the lights brighter that was the closest lightning strike i've actually ever seen oh my gosh now we're gonna ramp it up to a hundred percent all the stats okay this is 100 percent everything you cannot see a thing probably like 20 feet in front of you it looks so creepy out here imagine a crack and just attack you you couldn't even see it because we have absolutely no visibility oh my gosh it's so hard to see it's like these lights are so bright yeah and now the boat's escaping from us okay that's Lovely. This is what it looks like inside on 100% stats. Yeah, it's a little bit patchy outside. I would definitely wouldn't um, want to be going on a vacation in this, which we are actually right now. So why don't we crank it all down here? Kind of set the mood once again. Okay, 9%. Turn off everything and then change it to sunset. Perfect. All right, now we're starting to talk here. And now we're back to the nice vacation sunset. Oh yeah, this is just so nice. This game is so fun just to like go relax and go boating. And especially if you like boats or if you want to have a boat in real life, you can just do it in this game instead of spending hundreds of thousand dollars on a boat like this this boat is pretty cool it was made by 454 he is a content creator also and he's actually an engineer in real life which is why he's probably good at building all this stuff so make sure you guys go check out his channel and some of his workshop creations i'm also kind of interested to see what's on that island over there i see some stars also those look literally like pieces of salt that you would like eat um i've never actually admired the sky so we have some cool orange and then it switches to like purple and then it's pure blue up here i wonder if they are ever going to add space to this game that is something I've been wondering for a very long time. And same with fishing. Okay, so currently we are building the fishing boat, but they have not actually added fishing to the game. I can guarantee, though, I feel like they're going to add that at some point here in the future. But space is the big one because I don't know if they would really want to add like an entirely new like world, basically, because that's what space would be doing. But there's a whole lot of actual like rocket ships on workshop. You can't go to space, so they're basically useless, but they are pretty fun to use. But what's on this island right here? Um, I don't see anything. It's just like rocks. Okay, I don't care. We're going to still go on it. I also kind of want to use these bow thrusters here and see how good they are. So here we go. All right, we are arriving on the island. Is it like a bay in here? Can we actually like dock ourselves in here? Oh, it's like a ton of patchy rocks. Okay, that'll work it is pretty shallow down here i do see my um shadow okay start throttling down here oh gosh oh gosh okay it's really shallow we need to be careful we're gonna be using some bow thrusters here completely shut down the throttle so turn off ignition oh wait we're getting warnings we're getting warnings okay turn all this off turn all that off we're gonna use our bow thrusters here so if we turn on the right one it'll start spinning wait it's spinning both of them i'm confused oh what um i'm confused on how these bow thrusters work okay now it's pushing us to the left but i feel like the, only the front one's working okay so there's like a maneuver mode where do we activate this at um thruster maneuver mode all right it is on and then if we hold the left arrow oh there we go okay that's aggressive that's aggressive okay um we're gonna turn off maneuver mode now actually i don't okay you know what this is perfect 
perfect. We can just walk on it from here. And then how do we use this anchor? Does this anchor actually work? Can we anchor down? Okay, we're gonna start lowering the anchor now. Um, we are lowering it and then we're going to, um, I, okay, I think that's all we have to do. Okay, it connected to the bottom. Uh, Left anchor connected to seabed. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now we're actually clear to go kind of explore this island here. Oh, yeah, I've always wanted to do this in real life. Like, just go to a random island and explore it. That seems really cool. We kind of made it daytime a little bit more so we can see. So there's some really big boulders right here. Okay, so those are like the biggest actual boulders I've ever seen in this game. But yeah, this is the island right here. Pretty cool. We can just relax on it. I wonder if there's like any caves on this island. I really doubt it, but that'd be awesome to see. We're going to go to the highest point. Wait, what's that right there? There's like a crate on that island right there i think that's like a loot crate if you play career um there's like money in those so you can build some stuff with the money and do some other stuff but yeah this is a pretty cool island oh gosh we just jumped off the side no 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 what's that i hear like a siren going off and then on my phone it's saying take cover what does that even mean um oh i'm kind of scared right now normally take cover means something's going from up so is there anything going on oh my gosh what in the world is that oh that's not good everyone brace for impact that's a huge one right there oh my gosh that's coming for a direct hit oh oh okay um i'm gonna get inside my boat here you guys have fun my boat's starting to float away this is like the biggest explosion i've ever seen oh there's a tsunami going over there's a tsunami going over everybody get on the highest rock we can oh i think i just escaped it oh my gosh what just happened where did my boat just go oh we have it anchored so it's actually not gonna float away perfect oh that's awesome i mean that was a pretty um severe anchor test we just did but it did stay there but that's probably gonna be it for this stormworks video guys we did go on a cool little vacation and we tested out this cool speed boat it is in the description if you want to go subscribe to it but make sure you guys like the video drop a subscribe and turn on notifications join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye